Uh, g'day and welcome to uh, Guardian Oz Gaming. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, speed run uh, video, partly for myself, um, but partly for anybody else who's uh, watching some of my channel. Um, I'm going to do a speed run um, through the the, uh, the starship here, the two ruins that were down the road. Um, there's going to be some spoilers if anyone is actually watching and hasn't played Scrap Mechanic before and this is one of your first videos. Um, but some of the tips, the ember forest here is really important for your start because ember is used for um, your T1 and, and T2 and T3, sorry, T2 and T3 metal. And then you just need to add some water with a bucket um, and your craft bot and you're away. You can actually get to crafting up a drill bit um, pretty quickly. But you do need the ember and you need all of it. There's about 31 pieces available around the starship. Um, so that gets you um, quite a bit of metal um, upgrades as well. So um, some of the things, if you've got any questions as I go through, I'll put them down in the comments for the video and I will get back to them uh, as soon as I can. Um, I'm recovering from a little bit of a sickness, so um, I'm not quite as sharp as I, I have been. So that's why I'm doing one of these playthroughs uh, as opposed to craft creating you know, crazy, crazy, crazy inventions and things. Um, so yeah, so this this will be, and we're also on the test uh, server, the um, uh, 0.4.8 uh, version. So the um, some of the robot behaviour is um, definitely more intense in how they behave and chase you. So um, you do have to play it um, like you've got your own Minecraft or something similar set to set to di difficult. Um, so, alright, so what we need to do over this side is grab the bucket, and the soil and seeds, and there is also a bearing on the wheelbarrow. So that's what I'm going for, and I'm also going to go for a quick raid of the, the shop. I also want this soil patch. So we're going to grab all this soil. Um, the reason to do this one, these soils here, is we can relocate the uh, farm to wherever we decide we're going to do that. I might make um, two or maybe three, depends on how much soil we end up with. Um, little mini farms on the edge of the lake just so you can get that done I'll grab the fertilizer grab this second bucket because it's useful the bearing is on this wheelbarrow on this piece here so we've just got the, the bearing as well and we've got all the seeds now to strip down this uh, building start at your, in your corners and just strip upwards and across so we want this one as well so I'm going to strip from this corner all the way through the building and take out those components I don't want the rest, they fill up an inventory slot. Um, from a building point of view, we'll probably have access to other ones, but I will grab the light, because I do like the light. Um, so there we go, we've just stripped that down as much as I want to do it. Uh, I can grab this last bit as well. So we're done here. So what we need to do is catch up back to where we were up to in the, um, getting the um, ember trees. Now some of these ones are actually destroyable too, yeah. Not necessarily the ones that all just glow red. Um, and there's one off missed over here. I'll get the chest on the way back far past. So yeah, what we're looking at is, um, I'm trying to do a bit of a speed run. Um, I've only taken from the ship um, the, two, the two drinks. And I'll reorder my inventory in just a moment once we get our first piece of scrap metal. Now the reason to do that is we will need uh, 90 scrap metal, 10 component kits and 10 circuit boards to craft off the crafting bot at the workshop. Um, so yeah, so what we're just trying to do is make sure we get all, this ember, uh, all the embers we can because we're not coming back here, we're just going to blast away. Okay, we're good there. So. Um, yeah, so the reason for do, do this, or I do this, I've, I've done a mini restart uh, quite a few times to just track out different seeds. Um, I've tried some of the mapping tools as well to see if I can get specific map sorts that I like. And, um, you know, the whole, it's random chance, um, how your map's generated. They do use a seed system uh, like Minecraft, but as of the moment we can't select our own seeds. Um, so we've got that going for us as well. Now here, some of the changes I've spotted is you can meet the tote bots on this ramp way before you've even gotten to them. So you can see here this guy's halfway down the ramp. 
Um, so they've actually got a lot more aggression to them. Um, they chase you down faster. See this one, he's on the other side of the ruin and he's chasing us down. So you've got to be a little bit more on your game as you're exploring around. I'm just going to quickly grab everything here. And once I do this scrap metal, I'll reorder my inventory. Now the reason to do that is obviously we're going to need food items in our hopper. And I also want to track how much scrap metal we've got and how much component kits we've got and how much... Um, circuit boards we've got. So we've got six uh, component kits so far and five uh, circuit boards which is really good going considering we've only been going for a few minutes. What are we up to? Five minutes. So I'll put that down there, move that across, pick this up. There's stuff we don't need. We'll need food. So I'll bring food down and we're good to go. I will dump the tire because I don't want it. I don't want this. We've got 37 embers which is really good so far and we've got a good chunk of soil as well we've got um, 16 soil which is great it gives us two eight slot farms the reason to do an eight slot farm is it's below the raid threshold especially if we're using carrots and all those sort of things uh, any tips for anybody who's at this point in the game this is a valid ramp to get up to the roof here so there's actually a good amount of um, chests up here normally so it can almost double your, um, your number of items you have really quickly up here on this section of the roof um, so I'm just trying to get all these scrap metals that's going to be the most annoying part of my whole trip is waiting for us to do the, um, the processing of all of those and I'm not sure if I've missed the other item going I'm not sure if I've missed a chest on the next layer down, so I'll check it on the way out. So while we're up here, which is the other reason to come right up the very top here, is to see if we can find the um, workshop before it goes dark. And because I've got a long render distance, there's usually a good chance that I can see it just over that hill. So no, it's going to be obscured by this massive hill. Uh, but that's where the workshop is, if you're ever in, there, in this ruin. So the grid runs, um, you know, if you can imagine the grid runs north-south, it's going to be off to your uh, northeast, and we're in the southwest corner of the map. So, alrighty, away we go. I'll just quickly check for... Did I miss the chest? No, I did not. Alright, we're out of here. Okay. Um, you run faster without your hammer in your hand, so if you're ever trying to get around with a little bit of extra pace um, you can um, you know, switch, switch your hammer out um, and you can get quicker movement but obviously you've got to be aware sometimes there's chests on here, uh, loot boxes on here there's one I missed uh, the reason to go for the loot boxes even though we've doubled back as opposed to like and we are doing a speed run is component kits and we just got one extra so that's brilliant now this next ruin um, you need to treat it with a little bit of respect. There is a lot of hay bots on the outside, but there is also a lot of um, loot boxes for us to hit. Now we do need to just be a little careful. We've got one hay bot right there. And I don't want to pick up three chasing me. I can deal with two. What can happen is the hay bot can hit the, the, the one behind him and push them um, past you so you can actually then be reversing into a swinging haybot even though they were but all in front of you now i just realized i've got a haybot there i'm not looking so we need to get ourselves to 90 scrap so we're at 30 this will give us 40 so you can see the importance of um, just taking these we'll after our component kits soil is good as well it gives us our farm and this is like um, Minecraft early days, you want to get your food going so you can just get through the next days. Um, my first choice for food is to grow tomato, uh, tomatoes. Now the reason to grow tomatoes is they're good for um, thirst. And you, the thirstiest activity you can do is swinging your hammer for resources. So when we're logging or breaking down stone or any of those activities, our thirst is going to go down first. Now, I just want to make sure I'm not going to have any hay bots follow me into the ruin.
before we get in. So, um, yeah, the robots in um, test are a little bit more aggressive and they will chase you down over a longer distance, which is kind of good. They, they were all quite simple before. Let's see if I can get this guy without getting hit. And it's timing at hammer blows as well. Um, you'd want to try and get them as they lunge forward and then hit them, um, as opposed to hit the, um, the other strike. And then what you're trying to do is move back but wait for them, if that makes sense. I was um, striking pretty quickly, um, and I did actually hit him every go, which is really good. All right, so we're now at 60. We've got two here, and we've got three upstairs. Now, to get upstairs, um, there's a few ways to do it. Uh, I use my lift and a little few blocks to do it, so I'll use the scrap metal that we've just got to do use the lift. I'll just check and make sure I didn't miss, didn't get a, I didn't miss a chest here. No, good. Good box. Okay, so what I'm trying to do uh, is there's a hay bike he's coming over to. I'll just get this guy out of the way. Don't want any surprises while I'm up there. Trying to not get hit is really important early game as well, because if you get hit, you need to get healed, and if you get healed, it takes um, food and energy, and food is obviously rare, so you need to um, just be a little bit more careful early game than you would be at other times. So um, that gives me, oh, 90. I don't know if I need to go upstairs. I won't go upstairs, actually. I'll just use the money I've got. Uh, but I won't be able to make craft any drills. Alright, um, right, so now my speed run question. I've got 10 component kits, 10 circuit boards, and we now have 90 scrap. I'm going to run for it. Just take a drink. Alright, so when you're um, trying to speed run out of here, I'll just give myself a blank inventory spot so I can run with this. Uh, what we're looking for is this cliff edge. And I'm looking at the time before it goes dark. Let's see if we can actually get over this ridge um, before nightfall. Although the glowing um, spanner from the workshop is easy to see, obviously, in the dark. So I'm going to, this is going backwards a little bit. I'm just going to try and use this hill to get a good view. This was that giant hill we saw from the other ruin. There's a, another loot box. Component kits are always welcome. I'll take the bearing though. Two bearings is awesome. Alright, so here's the top of that hill. We should see our workshop in the distance. There's the workshop just there, so it's in the middle of that view. And we've got the water at this edge, so we know if we get hit water, follow the edge around, and we should find it pretty good. So I'll just get straight down this cliff, try and stay in a straight line, so it's just over the edge of this. So I'm trying to get there fairly quickly, but we also want to make sure we've got everything we need. Now some things that we need to look out for on, the, on our way is obviously uh, resource nodes like stone, to work out if this is a spot we want to come back to. Um, like I can see straight away there isn't much about. Let's grab this loot box while we're here. Starting to get dark, so I need to be efficient. So we don't get snuck, we don't get some um, robots sneaking up on us. So here's that water, so we're almost at that workshop. Uh, yeah, so for, for your farming, if you don't want different raids, you need to spread them out um, for the size of what's called one tile. Um, to work out tile size uh, is quite confusing with the vegetation tiles or the forest tiles where they're all uh, joined together. So basically I'm just going cross country and there's our workshop. So we are now at 15 minutes. We've got um, pretty much everything we need. A nice resource node, we just walk past the stone. Now we're not going to have enough metal to do the um, to craft the drill straight away. So once you're here at this uh, location, first thing to do is make sure you um, sleep, get your get your spawn point set. 
so that's in cabin three. I'll do it in cabin three just because it's the most convenient one. Get our spawn point. I just spotted there was Haybot sneaking up on us. No, he's walked off. Um, okay, and this is where the battery is. So again, spoilers. This guy's going to hurt us because we've got some tight quarters. So what the plan is, is to get the crafting pot as soon as possible and then any of our spare metal we want to craft, sorry, any spare scrap metal we want to craft into metal and then start our process of getting a drill. Now, um, I don't build a vehicle early, I, um, I try and get a good chunk of metal uh, manually first. So there's our... Um, mechanic, our, our craft bot. So, because the game's more aggressive and the way the robots behave uh, is a little bit more challenging, um, the first thing I do is I put my craft bot right up in the air. Then I don't have to worry about it getting killed. Um, because if we get if we get killed, we respawn, um, and then we're good to go. So we don't even have enough component kits to upgrade that. So that's obviously now we need to do some ruin running to get that sorted out. Um, I spotted that there was a big ruin on the way in. There we go, just ahead of us. Now on foot, this is obviously going to take a little while, uh, but it's all doable. Now the other thing we're looking for is a good spot for a farm. Now water's edge is definitely something we're going to look for. Um, I'm actually not looking for like a permanent farm, I'm looking for a temporary, the dodgiest farm I can possibly create, how would I do it? Um, so here we've got possibly good options. So I'll get my farm set up straight away as well. Um, for um, setting up your farm, need to be eight, eight or less. So you'll see uh, what I'll try to do is with my soil, I will set the farm up to be eight blocks, eight, eight long. Now here is a good uh, isthmus to use maybe for a bigger farm, but the water edge is actually really deep. So what I prefer to do is look around for a shallow beach. So this one's not too bad. Yeah, this one's not too bad. We can walk out here. Now the reason to do that is now when we plant our soil, and we're going to plant eight. Too steep. All right, we'll go this way. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to plant tomatoes because they're more handy for us for doing that. And then the reason to be right where we are is that shallow beach meant we can uh, get our water, hopefully. So it tells us we can throw it and try and throw our water. Maybe we'll reach our farm, maybe we won't. Either way, if we don't, we can just Fill it, water it, fill it, water it, fill it, water it, fill it, water it, and I can leave the bucket. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here. I'm going to go get the resources we need, and um, I'll catch up with some tips and pointers then. Update on my speed run. I've just raided a local ruin which is just behind the mechanic station. It's really tall. Um, I've managed to grind um, up the scrap metal to afford, with the component kits as well to afford a refiner. But the refiner, obviously, I don't have the um, I don't have anything else. But why did I buy a refiner straight away? Well to um, mine rock if you bring your blocks too in the, too high and then put a beam on top 
it works out at about the right height for a drill to um, to run and even get to the ground notes. Now to get this working, obviously we want it on the rock, but if we hit it like this, it's going to keep bouncing off and coming back to us and not actually doing much. So the two ways to fix that is either come from above and use gravity, or if you spot strike it just real gentle on the back of where the um, where the nuts are of the drill, it will actually travel forward on a fairly shallow and smooth way. I'm not hitting the right spot, so there we go. And now we've got our first piece of metal and another node already done. So what I'll do now is just craft that one up into there and I'll um, you know, move this one out of the way, just put it out of the way. And um, we're ready to go again. I can jump back up, hit that sweet spot on the drill, just get behind it. See if we can get this node or it's in the wrong spot for the arm. That's that one's in the wrong spot for the arm. And you can see that with relatively minimal effort and very few hammer swings, we're actually still getting through um, the stone. And I've um, you know done a good job of smashing this node, and I haven't made any adjustments to the drill. So my next adjustment would obviously be come out a few blocks. Reposition the bearing, depends on how many bearings you've got, and put the drill back on. Jump up for surfing, and just that sweet spot. Just strike it. General, and we can just get through uh, quite a lot of stone with minimal effort. Um, obviously, sometimes it gives a good swing away. Um, yeah, so it's that whole uh, process of spinning up. So there we go, we now have four metal so um, we you know I'm pretty pretty happy with this mining expedition actually. So yes yeah, so the refiner takes a little while which is because it's only running on its own and I'll use this first metal to get a resource container. Um, and to keep it up on my lift makes it nice and safe. Wait for this one to go. Next one's ready to go. So there you go we've just gotten 40 metal and um, I've only positioned them, I've only repositioned the drill once. So to get it spinning forward, you've got to get just behind the nuts and bolts, let it spin. We can re even refine the basic nodes. So it's a matter of are we actually stuck on any of it? We've got the next one done. Next one, we're right under this big node. Obviously, in some places, it's not going to work very well. So there you go. We've done all that on that pass. Quick adjustment. Reposition our bearing. We're good to go. This is the first node I've done. Um, oh, I'll hit it pretty hard to get it around. Where we've got to go. This is going to be in the way. Um, the reason why I haven't put the stone in the refiner is without the um, interactive chest on the back, you can only store one type of um, um, one type of resource. So at the moment, I've got it doing metal. So I'll um, jump up uh, and make sure that all my metal is getting refined. And then once I've got enough metal to get a resource con container then we make sure the resource containers are sorted so that they've all got the same type of resource on it. This one's frustrating me. Sometimes you can stand behind the drill and you behave as a backstop. Uh, so now this chunk is in the way. So what I need to do is work out where about that, about where that chunk is. Move the drill out of the way. Our drill on, get back into drilling it. So, again, that nice sweet spot around the back of the drill. Be gentle with it. And there we go. Back to drilling resources again. Alright, I'll leave this one here. Um, just I'll add some more tips and pointers as we go for early survival. Okay, when you're starting off, make sure your farm's only 8 blocks. I've moved this one to make it more convenient for watering. So what I mean by that 
is if I've got my bucket at the moment, it's empty. If I've crept backwards into the water, it is now full. And you can throw the water to water your plants. So I was actually going over the top there. So we just click along and we can actually, because our bucket is auto filling, yeah, quick update. Overnight I've harvested my, um, my crops uh, from a game lapse point of view. We're looking at just over one hour. Um, I'm currently processing away um, some trees that I've cleared while I was waiting for the light to improve and I'm basically going to manually process this huge node. Uh, I'm not going to do it while I'm on screen. I was just um, going to you know, get started and get you guys to give you an idea of how long it actually takes. So uh, right now we're 4.55 game time and we're going to put the clock right there. My five, uh, five minutes game time and we'll see how long it takes to process this rock. <clears throat> Just a quick update on the time challenge. Uh, I started that node at game time 5am. Um, it's now 20 um, in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, it took uh, 15 minutes to process that whole node. So there's basically nothing left. And this is how much uh, metal I got. So I've got um, uh, 15 rods, uh, so that's 150 metal. So um, yeah, not a bad innings for the um, for that amount of time. Um, yeah, thanks very much. Um, what I'll do is get all this refined out, and I'll show you guys a quick trick, um, a quick tr uh, tip whilst uh, getting ready to process to level three metal. Before I go on my first uh, scuba diving mission to get uh, clams for making a chest. Um, I'll basically show you a trick for um, making water in, um, really basic before you've got a vacuum pump. If you get yourself in the water, you know you can your bucket will automatically fill if you're getting the nice deep enough water. But what you can also do is if you craft your water um, and have your hot bar position where your bucket is, basically once it collects it, you collect the water and your bucket will auto fill. So all you need to do is just click on the uh, craft button and then collect the water, hit craft. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to scroll across a couple of buckets. You can, only, you know, making one at a time is still only what this machine does anyway. All it allows you to do is queue up more than one. So the time to um, craft um, 20 of these with this method is still the same as queuing up with 20 buckets. Um, so yeah, it gets you a good point where you can now, um, for me, I can now get access to the um, metal block uh, two because uh, we've now got water access and 31 embers was what was near the spacecraft. So you can see we can craft a few of the metal two now. So uh, yeah, time to go scuba diving because um, I need, I've run out of inventory space and um, yeah, I need a chest. So um, yeah, I'll get that done.